Yo, what is going on everybody? This is RBT and welcome back to another episode of the Ultimate Player Career Mode here on the channel. Once again, thank you guys so much for the support on the previous episode. Every single episode of the series has smashed over 2,000 likes. I even think the last episode, YouTube was completely messed up the day that I uploaded the last episode. A lot of you didn't see that, so there's always a link to the full playlist in the description box below of every single episode. So if you missed last episode, be sure to go check it out. But if you did miss it and you're just watching now, we did make the playoffs. In today's episode, we're going to play every game up until the high school state championship game if we do make it that far. So hopefully we do. And if you do enjoy today's episode, make sure to drop another big thumbs up. Let's see if we can get back to 3,000 likes on today's episode. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on the notification bell if you haven't. With that said, we're playing 601 Clinton. I mean, we came close, like especially the first game of the series, we almost lost. So hopefully that doesn't happen again today because that would be embarrassing if we don't actually like make it to the state championship game. I don't think I ever did that like when I used to play this game all the time. I don't think I ever did not win the state championship games if I do it today. I'll give you the username and password to my channel. I will. That would be embarrassing. Like, I don't even know if Clinton's an actual city in the state of Alabama. Like I don't remember that like actually being a city. Weisbecker with the catch. Don't tell me. I thought he had the speed to break it up the field all the way for a touchdown. Oh yeah, he's a tight end. But anyways. Still a big play, 36 yards to start off the ball game. We've yet to have a game where I've not thrown an interception, so hopefully the playoffs is where we start to play our best football. And once they call a triple option, that's always awful this play, because triple option in this game is just awful. You know what? We'll scramble here with Carl Weezer. Carl Weezer with a big play makes a man miss Carl Weezer all the way down to the 20 yard line within three plays of this ball game. First down and 10. Can we have a perfect first drive? Thin win. Running the post route. You know what? We're going to scramble. We might be able to get this. Carl Weezer is going to juke move, get hit down to the four yard line. Could not get past that last defender, but now it is first down and goal for Carl Weezer, the number one quarterback prospect in the United States. First and goal, gonna be looking for Bill out of the backfield. Can we go on top? In the first round of the high school playoffs, Bill catches the football, seven nothing. That was pretty goddamn easy. Third down and 11. Can we pick it up right here? Like nobody's open at all. Can somebody run? Why? Down the field, he's open. That's Bill once again. Bill is having a good game. 37 yards down within the 20 yard line once again never gonna run speed option man like i've showed you over and over again in this series like it just doesn't work i hate the fact that i picked a speed, uh, option playbook thin win back of the end zone just like that 14 to nothing this is going perfect you know what i might do it throwing this up to b come on man be great thin It's just going to happen. Try to make magic happen. And it just is the opposite of magic. It's sad. Thin win again. This should be a touchdown. This has got to be a touchdown. Thin win. Has to lay out for it. Oh, if we can hit him in stride. That's a touchdown. Scrambling. Scrambling. Need somebody to run downfield. Hello? Why? Need a dot? That's going to be Glick. Never seen Glick before. But Narayan Glick. Narayan Glick. Glick. Like, if you personally know somebody named Narayan, let me know. Because me personally, I, I don't know anybody named Narayan. Like, I actually love it when my coach calls four verticals inside the 10-yard line. Beautiful, beautiful play calling. Slants across the middle. Saria into the end zone. 21 nothing. No way we choked this. <laughs> no way we choked this. Then win again. This could be another touchdown. Please hit him and stride. Please hit him and stride. Don't die. Then win. Don't get caught. He gets caught with thin win already over 100 yards in this first half. And yes, guys, I will have you guys vote in a poll where I end up going to college either next episode or the next one after that. So keep that in mind and keep in mind and start thinking about ideas of what college you actually want me to go to. So that's going to be another not touchdown because Alex Howell did not run up the field. But don't fret. We have Carl Weezer on our side. So first down and goal from the five. I just, I'm not going to run triple option, man. It just does not work. I think we probably would have done a lot better, like, stat-wise in this series if we did not have, you know, the option playbook. we got to work with what we have. Yep, this is this is going fantastic. I don't know what button he is. I don't know what button he is. I just threw the ball. You know what? I'm going to close my eyes and score a touchdown. Actually, I'm going to look to the right so you guys know I'm not looking. 
I'm gonna wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Throw it to Bill. Touchdown. All day. Bill, he's the man. He's the magic man. Thin win down the field. Even it deep. He makes the catch and gets into the end zone. A Hail Mary before the half. 58 yards, our fifth touchdown of the half. We could be breaking our series record, which is seven touchdowns in a game. Alex Howe down the field. He goes up, makes the catch. I lied. That's Gio Saria. But regardless, another big play. First down to go looking for our sixth touchdown of the game. They might be taking us out pretty quick. It's 35 to nothing in the playoffs against a 6-1 and one team. Absolutely mental. Looking for thin win on the post. That is touchdown number six. So Clanton's coming back. 42 to 14. They've scored two touchdowns. We just didn't score in the last drive, so I didn't show you. But we're still looking to tie our season record of seven touchdown passes in a game. We're going to do it right here. Thin win. Completely destroyed that guy off the line of scrimmage. And that would have been so epic if I actually called it. But once again, Carl has to be a little wild and lead him a little bit too far to make him dive. But it is a first down, down to the 34-yard line. Then when just, he just gets behind the defender so easy. He's such a beast. 34 yards, one more touchdown will give us our season record of potentially eight. Just hopefully they don't take us out of the game. Just let me play at least one more drive. I'm begging you. One. Are they going to score? They scored, so they got to keep me in the game, right? I don't think they didn't. They didn't keep me in the game. But anyways, it's still going to be a big win. 49 to 27. 16 of 29. 453 yards. 7 touchdowns. 33 yards on the ground. Almost 500 yards total. The least amount of interceptions in a game. We are now a 3-star middle linebacker. I'm not sure if that like changed at all. But with that performance, we very well might have got up into the top 10 of the ESPNU 150. I think at the end of last episode, we were 67th in the country in the ESPNU top 150 hopefully by the end of the playoffs we get up to number one we did get a scholarship offer at quarterback from Virginia Tech so that's a pretty big one South Carolina offers a scholarship at middle linebacker but we're not going to be playing middle linebacker in college Arizona Arizona State and Arkansas all want me at quarterback but they have yet to offer a scholarship and a middle linebacker Marshall Cincinnati and Northern Illinois we're all the way up to 18 in the ESPNU 150 so I think if we have a couple more performances like we did this game or the first game of this episode we could be number one by the end of all of this I'm not sure if there's another round after this but we are gonna take on Montgomery who is undefeated on the year let's see if this will actually be our toughest task of the season I mean the first playoff game that was easy no way first play of round two thin win once again that rhymed 43 yards down the field can we score? Can this be the game that we break our record and don't throw any interceptions? Will be the first time in this series. Can we do it? Second play of the ball game. Post route is open. Alex Howe with the catch down to the 13 yard line. Will third play be the charm of this opening drive in round two of the playoffs? Can we do the god dang thing? Uh-oh, like nobody's open. Gonna scramble. Carl Weezer, need a block. Carl, Carl down to the two-yard line. Actually, the three. I lied, not on purpose. So second down in inches. Once again, Bill's the man. Bill does the thing. And Bill's gonna catch this ball and get into the end zone as just like that in four plays. We go down the field and score on Montgomery. If it's going to be that easy all game, it's going to be another god dang blowout. So we have the ball back around midfield after a big play to Gio Saria. Second and 10. Can we go up 14-0 in two straight games? Thin win. Can we beat that safety? That's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. Thin win. He's the man. He is the, like 100% no matter where we go to college. We have got to make sure this guy comes with us. Another touchdown. Another touchdown. The corner's do dog. No. Bad. Bad. You know what? One on one. Thin win. I'm just going to give you the chance. Give my receiver a chance to go up the field. Catch the football. Dude, it's too easy. It's too easy. Just throw the ball in his general direction. This is like a combination. Thin win is a combination of Julio Jones and Antonio Brown put into one. Plus, 
Calvin Johnson, whoever you want to say. Nobody even comes close to the main man, Thin Nguyen, as when you don't have Thin Nguyen completely open, you just dump it off to Bill and just let Bill do the thing and pick up seven yards. Can we take another three possession lead in the playoffs? I'm pretty sure we played this game and there's one more game and if we win that, we go to the state championship, which is actually pretty cool. So I think it's I think it's in the at Alabama. I think it rotates in real life one year from Alabama Stadium to Auburn Stadium, but I think this year it would be in Alabama Stadium, but we'll have to see. But anyways, uh-oh, scrambling. A is open. That's Weisbecker, Michael Weisbecker, coming in on the action with another touchdown as we take a three possession lead once again. We have Carl Weezer at quarterback. It's just too god dang easy. So we have the ball at midfield, and I've already decided no matter what, I'm giving my best receiver on the team a chance here. He's one-on-one -on -one with the safety. He beat him deep. This is a touchdown. I mean, this is easy. This is Heisman. This is Heisman. This is Heisman. You guys saw me put on a Heisman. You guys see my controller disconnect every three seconds, but I guess it's just our team. Carl Weezer, we've learned how to play. We've learned what works. We learned to throw the ball to thin win almost every single play because he's that god dang goat. The coach called lovely, lovely, lovely for verticals, which means this is going to be a touchdown. Calling it now. Calling it now. Thin win. Hit him in stride. What did I tell you? He's just not the fastest man. God dang. If he was a little bit faster, if this man can get a little bit faster throughout his career, he will be the greatest receiver of all time, no doubt. And you know what we run inside the five-yard line. Bill just gets open every time. Just kidding. Bill's not open. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bad. Every time. Guess who? Guess who? Guess who? The man, the myth, the legend, Finn Nguyen with the touchdown. Our fifth passing touchdown of the half. Looking for a six, which would be a season record for in one half. Like six touchdown passes in one game. I accidentally said in the play. That sucks. But hey, we're now at the 40-yard line. A minute to go. We could still potentially throw two more touchdown passes. This is actually gone insane. You know what? I mean, he's running press on thin. Nobody gets away with running press coverage on thin win. We're going to throw the ball deep. This is another touchdown. This, it'd be too easy. It'd be too god dang easy. Thin win or six touchdown passing of the half. Absolutely insane. Can we somehow get a couple stops in a row? Can we get the ball back? Uh-oh. If we go a 99 yards in one play, I will cry. I will cry. Please get open. Please get open. This could be it. This could actually. No way. Dog, I'm dying. No. Break a tackle. Then win to the house. 99 yards. Our seventh touchdown passing of the half. A 100 yard reception. We have almost on for five. 1,000 or 5,000 yards and a half. That's, that's a little bit too much. But we've almost over 500 yards in one half. We have tied our season record of touchdown passing, passes in one game. In the second round of the playoff, in one half, this is dumb, dog. Like, this, if we're number one recruit in the country, then win's got to be number two. We're looking for our season record of eight touchdowns in one game. Can we do it? Why? Down the scene. Oh, we don't have the arm strength. No, there's the pick. Ah, oh, this could have been our first game without a turnover. God dang it. They take this out the game. Oh, I'm so sad. There was our chance and I screwed it up. But we get another massive victory. 60 something to seven. And we are breezing through the playoffs. 14 of 19, 478 yards, seven passing touchdowns. That like all of that happened in the first half. We only get like we're not. I don't even know why we're getting no tackles anymore on like defense. But anyways, insane game. Absolutely insane. I've got to sneeze, but I've got the mental capacity and mental strength to make it stop. We did make it stop. Let's see if we get any awesome scholarship offers after this game. I'm not even sure if we have one more game to play. Yeah, we do have one more game to play. Arkansas does offer us a scholarship at quarterback. We're going to accept that. Nebraska is a massive college to offer us a scholarship at middle linebacker. So does Northern Illinois. Washington, Stanford, and Oregon all interested in me at quarterback. Clemson, Georgia, and Ohio State all interested in me at middle linebacker. That's insane. So we do have another game to jump into. 
and we are now up in the I would assume the top 10 of the ESPNU 150 and it doesn't say a uh, hello maybe that means we're number one but it hello but we're playing Huey Town once again I think this is the second time we have played them in this series so this is the semifinals so if we win this game the next game will be the high school state championship game next episode so let's finish business touchdown all day if we hit them in stride it's a touchdown thin win like this is a man amongst boys of course you look like the best quarterback in the country when you disconnect your controller after every single play but of course you look like the best quarterback in the country if like no matter when like your receivers open every single play i know i know i know you guys are probably getting tired of all these deep routes but look this is what the coach calls, and I cannot audible unless I audible to the same play that you normally see because I always audible to that play once they call triple option because that never works. So this will obviously change when we get into college. I think I can actually unlock the ability the more I play in college to call my own play, so that will happen eventually. I don't know who to throw this to. B, across the field, need a good throw. That, he, you could have caught that. Third down and two. Let's make sure we, that's a touchdown, then win. Easy. Money. Boom. We regained the lead. 14 to 7. Like, look at Thin Win destroy. Well, it won't show you, but he absolutely destroyed the cornerback off the press coverage. Like, I mean, any quarterback with half an IQ point could have, like, targeted him and made that throw and completed it for a touchdown. It's that easy when you have him on your team. He just breezes right past him. If we hit him in stride, it's another touchdown. He He's, like... I don't know, he like can break away, he has the speed to break away from a corner, but once he catches the ball, he always gets caught, but I, I, I can't do anything but throw it to him because he's open every single time. He ran right past him again. There he is with the catch, breaks a tackle. He's in the end zone. It looks like, it looks like we're going to the championship, boys. Go to game, go to game, go to game. Hello? Uh, let's pause the action. Let's resume the game. And let... The main man catch a wide open yeah. touchdown pass. How is the earlier part of the series so difficult? And all of a sudden, everybody's getting wide, god dang. Well, not everybody. It's the same guy. So hurrying up 15 seconds before the half. Let's see if we can score another touchdown. Press coverage. I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to close my eyes. I'm throwing the ball to thin win. I'm going to open them. And it's going to be touchdown. Touchdown. Is that freaking easy? I can I can close my eyes and still win with this team. So second down and goal from the one and a half yard line. You know what we do in these situations. Touchdown all day. Just kidding. Alex is trash. That's why we like to have Bill in the game on these situations. So once again, Bill is now in the game, which means Bill is going to catch a touchdown pass. Our seventh of the game. He doesn't drop the pass. Bill's the man. This is probably our last chance, dudes. We have seven touchdown passes on the game. We're up 49-7 to in this, the semifinal game. One more touchdown gives us our record of the season. I think he has him beat. I think he has him beat. Don't pick it. There, there's the pick. There's the one pick. We're still in the game. We still have a chance, boys. Can we do it? Can we throw our eighth touchdown pass in one game? I might just do it. I might just try to throw it to him once again. I might just do it. Now, I'm going to be smart. I'm going to be smart. Take it easy. Throw the ball to Bill. Let Bill do his thing. Let Bill keep on running. Bill. Uh-oh. Alex Howe catches the football down to the five-yard line. We are five yards away from breaking our record. Even Alex Howe, our running back, has 100 yards through the air. We have broken our season record of five. Well, I don't know if it was previously, but now we have 538 yards in the game. Our most by far. Thin one's not in the game here. Kind of disappointed. Can Alex actually catch a touchdown pass? Alex Howe did like he just can't get. He has 104 yards on the air now, but no touchdowns because he just can't do it. Is Bill gonna come back? And, nah, Bill's not in the game. Bill's a fullback. Bill's a fullback. I'm gonna throw the ball to Bill. I'm gonna throw it to Bill. Let Bill do it. Let Bill do the thing. Nah, Bill's not open. I gotta throw. I gotta throw this though. Bill, catch it. Bill does it. Bill's the touchdown man. He's the man that does the touchdowns. Or eighth touchdown of the game breaks it has to be a school record but now that does it as in the semi-final 
we get a 69 to 7 win absolutely mental as we advance into the state championship game what a playoff performance from Carl Weezer. Even up to a four-star middle linebacker now. Mental. 18 to 30, 542 yards. Still do a pick, but I think in total, I think we threw for 23 touchdowns, so like three, maybe four interceptions in three games. Like that is insane. We have got to be the number one quarterback or number one prospect in the ESPN U 150. Hopefully it shows it here. Before, for some reason, it didn't show it. Maybe that just means we are number one. I mean, we have to be. We were 18. Please show it. So Oregon offers us a scholarship at quarterback. That could be interesting. Alabama offers us a scholarship at middle linebacker. Wisconsin, Washington, and Utah are interested in me at quarterback. And the middle linebacker, West Virginia, Texas Tech, and Texas are all interested in me. I'm guessing that means I am the number one player in the country. Like, I have to be. Like, I was 18, then I threw 15 touchdowns in two games. I have to be. So in the Alabama State Championship game, we're going to take it on Brighton, who are 6-1 on the year. Can we do the guy dang thing in next episode? So hopefully, guys, do enjoy. And if you do, make sure to absolutely obliterate the like button if I can see an insane amount of likes on today's episode. The high school state championship game will come out tomorrow. So let me know what you guys, or if you guys want to see the episode tomorrow by dropping a like. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are a new intern on the notification bell if you haven't. But with that said, I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. God bless. Peace.